Uh, hey guys. You're so pretty. Oh. Yo, Snapchat, please send warmth, an umbrella, and maybe some pants. Um, let's discuss using deep learning and neural nets to predict human interactions and also the future. So MIT researchers recently used deep learning techniques to predict what actors in TV shows would do next, and it worked actually pretty well. So what they did is they fed about 600 hours of like TV footage from uh, shows like The Office and Big Bang Theory and a bunch of other YouTube videos, and just had the system watch what the actors were doing and then predicted what they did next. So they trained this neural net on four different classifiers, whether there was going to be a handshake, a hug, a kiss, or a high five. Um, and then what they did is like kind of showed them uh, future frames and then got it to predict what would happen. So this algorithm given a freeze frame of one of those TV shows of so one second before a like hug, kiss, high five, or handshake was going to happen, it predicted accurately 43% of the time what would happen. Not perfect, but not bad. Then they took that a step further and tried to predict what would happen in a video five seconds before it happens. Um, and that one only worked 11% of the time. But you can kind of see what they're trying to do. They're trying to predict the future with these algorithms. Okay, you reckon you can predict what I'm going to talk about next? What, what the future idea is going to be? I'll give you a five second head start. It's one of my favorite ideas. Cliche idea, always go back to it, but this one kind of fits in nicely. Well, life logging, live streaming, and broadcasting, of course. So 24 7 broadcasting. Because imagine if uh, this same system had access to 24 7 video from every human on the planet. If you can use deep learning to predict what actors are going to do next in a TV show, then why can't you apply it to the real world? Um, why can't you apply it to people filming their lives and predict what happens next? If you look at the trend of social media and the amount of data we're sharing more and more about our lives, it's inevitable that we're going to get to the point where everyone's wearing video glasses that are streaming 24-7 video and uploading it to the cloud. We ignore the privacy and creepiness factor of that for a second and just like look at how, like, how the world will change and what you can do with that data. It's pretty immense. You can apply that same deep learning technique to every individual's normal interaction. Actually, the MIT researchers said that future versions of this algorithm could be used to, um, in security cameras and like emergency services cameras to predict uh, either threats or falls or anything that's going to happen in the future. But instead of just applying that to security cameras, imagine if you apply that to every single human eyeball on the planet. <laughs> you know, the video feeds, 24-7 video feed from 7 billion people. Like with that amount of data, like at least 7 billion, you know, high quality, high def streams from everyone on the planet, perhaps the AI could actually predict to the 90th percentile what every single human will do. Well, that doesn't have to be all evil. Um, there's some really great things you do. So something I like applying that same technique to is the idea of um, the AI watching everyone's human problems on a daily basis, and it can work out what problems the people have. There's probably things we do in our daily lives, you know, in our normal life or at work or whatever, that are problems that we don't really recognize as problems. We just kind of put up with it. We just do it. Whereas the AI could recognize that problem and give you a solution. Or if it can't give you an instant suggested solution, what it can do is connect you in real time to someone else in the world who can solve that problem because it knows that that person has solved it before or has the skills to solve it. And it doesn't have to be connecting to you to that person in real time. They can literally just say, hey, this person somewhere else in the world actually has solved that problem that you're facing right now. Here's a previous recording of them solving it. And so something like that at a macro scale starts overclocking the human race. It starts overclocking the human species because now everything, you know, it's the instant problems are found, solutions are created. And again, at the macro level, you can actually track the spread of memes and ideas throughout the entire species accurately. You know, when, I, when I'm telling you these ideas right now, you will subconsciously go and spread them elsewhere, but we can't track, really track how ideas and memes spread and evolve. Then you could do stuff like, you know, tons of stuff, but you could do stuff like, you know, turn that into an actual job. Like, you could spread ideas and get paid for it and see where it goes. And then on the individual level, if you're recording everything you say and do and see, then you can do stuff like track your vocabulary over time, your learning over time, um, track the onset of any mental health issues or like dementia and stuff like that. And you, yeah. And even just the mere act of broadcasting, I think it will get to the point where doing 24-7 video is really powerful. People, people see like really good outcomes from that and they want to do it. Um, like even doing these daily future vids, the original intention was to uh, one, spread ideas so that people would hopefully somewhere in the world actually bring those ideas to reality, two, digital immortality, and three, build a personal fame. But the, the mere act of just broadcasting every day has actually brought about a, a bunch of like beautiful emergent phenomena that we, you wouldn't have expected. Like I mean, a bunch of like-minded people, it's really cool. So I would suggest broadcasting. So, Snap your thoughts, I future. When do you think they will start doing 24-7 uh, broadcasting? Why aren't you broadcasting now? And what other benefits do you think will come from that? Oh my god, it's so cold. Future.